So I just recorded my predictions video. Before you see it, uh, look at this. In the UK, all right, just in the UK, I am 37th. I am 37th place in terms of points for predictions. That is really cool. <laughs> that is really cool. I think it's just for Champions League though. Just for Champions League, not Premier League. But still, I'm 37 out of how many people? Out of 2,474 elites. I was 14. Hey, 316. David of 316. Only Jordan will get this. If you don't get it, don't worry. It's, it's, a, it's a meme I've got. But uh, I was 14 on match day four. That was the match day I got seven out of 16. Uh, seven scores out of 16. That is sick. That, that is really good. Why am I globally though? Globally, I'm probably like really far. I don't know, it doesn't say. Um, oh, I think, I think that's it. 254th after 27K. I'll take it. Premier League predictions. I am 7,005. Onto the video. boy David off and welcome back to Champions League predictions we have done all five match days so far and now for the final match day of the group stage a big uh, match day of course because some team need a win or a draw some teams already through of course top or second uh, maybe teams playing for Europe League place as well there's a lot of things to play for for many teams so uh, yeah 16 games let's predict by the way if you're wondering why I'm using Internet Explorer that's because uh, my laptop broke Send it to insurance. It came back that they raised they they raised everything to fix it. It came back, and uh, I didn't download another browser yet. I was meant to download Google Chrome. Never downloaded it. I don't know why I'm mentioning that now because it's irrelevant to the video. But I, I'm very random like that. I mention random things, random irrelevant things, randomly. Uh, sh shut up, David. Let's just predict. Schalke beat Lokomotiv Moscow. I think Schalke need a win, right? Nah, I think yeah. Schalke are through. Schalke are through. They got eight points. Porto on 13, they don't move at all, <laughs> they, they do nothing. Locomotive could still get Europa League, technically. Will that affect the result? I don't know, but I'm going for a Schalke win. A Schalke 2-1 win. I'm probably gonna get all these wrong, to be honest, because uh, apart from match day four when I got really lucky, I've not been doing that well with these predictions. I think match day two I did well. Match day four, I got like seven scores out of 16. It was, it was elite, hello Harry. But uh, yeah, um, hopefully uh, I get some writing this week as well. Uh, Galatasaray v Porto, same group obviously. Um, Galatasaray at home as well. I think Porto, I don't know. I mean, Porto are guaranteed to go through anyway, regardless of what happens. So maybe that, that is a factor. Uh, as for Galatasaray, if they win, they get Europa League. Do they want Europa League? They probably do. Um, yeah, I'll go, I'll go for risk. 2-1 Galatasaray. I go 2-1 way too much in my predictions. I say this every time as well. Monaco v Dortmund. I'm pretty sure they're both... I mean, Monaco are doing badly, obviously. Uh, done one point and Dortmund's... I mean, they can still finish top. But I think I've got Club Brugge and I don't think they'll fail to win that game. So, yeah. Not looking good there for Dortmund and finishing top. But they go through anyway, so that's good for them. I think... Uh, I think they'll win this as well. I think they'll win this game. 2-0 uh, to Dortmund. Uh, Club Brugge, yeah, Atletico, I think will win. 3-1. Um, yeah, 3-1. Inter v PSV. I know about these groups, obviously. I haven't seen the, I haven't checked the points, but I know about these groups. I know what each team needs. Uh, Tottenham first. They need to win at the new Camp. Probably. Unless, like, if, well, if they both draw, then Tottenham go through. If they both win, Tottenham go through. Tottenham needs to win, basically, because I don't see Inter Milan not winning this game. I think they will win this game. So I think that means Spurs have to win it as well. They do need to win it. If, if, if Inter win, they have to win as well if they want to go through. And I just, I just don't see it. I just, uh, I'm not saying this because I'm an Arsenal fan. I'm an Arsenal fan, but that's not why I'm saying it. I just don't see Tottenham going to the new camp and winning. I don't see it. I just, I can't see it happening. I, I can't see happening. 3-1 Barcelona for me. And 2-0 Inter. Yep. 
that's my opinion. I, I think I think Inter will go through because Tottenham need to match Inter's score, and I think Tottenham's best chance of going through is Inter not winning their game. And I just don't see them not beating PSV. I, I, just, I just don't see it. Maybe I'm wrong, but you know they've got one point from five games so far, and it's in Italy as well. I just I don't see it for Tottenham. I, I just don't see it. Uh, they'll drop down into third in the Europa League. Uh, Red Star, oh, another big one. Obviously, Red Star will be PSG and um, Liverpool will be Napoli. I think PSG will win against Red Star. Uh, I, know, I know Red Star beat Liverpool, but I don't think they'll beat PSG. Actually, wait, let's look at the table for a second. It's interesting because if Liverpool win by two goals, I think, uh, because of the head to head, I mean, Napoli beat Liverpool 1 0. So if Liverpool can beat them by two goals, they can go through. If it's one goal, I'm not sure. Like, if it's 1 0, again, what happens? I don't know, but to be sure, they need to, be, need to win by two goals. Will it happen? I, I don't know. Napoli are good. Like, <laughs> they're really good. So, I, I'm not sure. I'm not sure about it. I'm not, I'm not sure. PSG, I think, will win, though, to put the pressure on. I don't think they will lose. Uh, they might finish top, to be fair. They might finish top, actually, because Liverpool could... I mean, Napoli might not win at Anfield, but they could snatch a draw. They could go through on head-to-heads. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, but PSG, I think, win their game, I think. 3-0 to PSG. Liverpool, I'm going to risk it. I'm going to risk it. 2-0. 2-0. It's going to be similar to uh, Chelsea v PSG from a few years ago when they scored an early... Chelsea were two goals down in the uh, in quarterfinals, I think, a few years ago. They were 3-1 down. They scored at Stamford Bridge really early. Then they scored the winner in, in stoppage time uh, to go through. I'm thinking it might be that type of game. I think Liverpool might... They might come back, but only just because they need a two-goal win. So that's what I'm saying. Like it's, it's a group stage match, obviously, but head-to-head -head obviously matters. So yeah, um, that's what I've gone for. That's all the Tuesday games, and on to Wednesday now. Let's just uh, <laughs> get the tables up. I saw Pulsen, by the way, so we'll go to them first. Victoria Pulsen on four points, Moscow on four. They're both out, but they could still go to Europa League. Of course, one of them, only one of them, can go to Europa League. So. Yeah, and uh, Roma and Real Madrid. Real, Real finished top. Real finished top, uh, for sure. They'll get revenge on Moscow because Moscow beat them. That was a funny game. <laughs> that was a funny game. I, I think I'm going to go for more than two. Nah, 2-0. Two 2-0. Nil. Two nil. Yeah, Pilsen v Roma. 2-1. Two 2-1 one. Two one to Roma, I think. Half of these are guesses, by the way. Half of these are guesses. I'm not like thinking that hard about form and stuff. I'm just based based on the table. I'm guessing half of these. Um, Benfica v Athens. Well, I don't need the table for this. I mean, look at that. Look at that form. They're going to lose again. <laughs> They're going to lose again. Uh, four one. Now, actually, wait. Four one's a bit a bit mad, isn't it? Um, yeah. Yeah. You know what? Screw it. Four one. Yeah. That's what I'm going to go for. I actually buy it now. That is a good game. What's the table like in there? 13-11. Um, well, <laughs> that's going to be good. <laughs> that's going to be good. Uh, Benfica, well, they'll, they'll, they'll get Europa League, obviously. Uh, they can't lose it anyway. Um, I'll go for a draw. 2-2. Two, two. Ajax 2, Bayern 2. You heard it here first. Ajax will, will be winning then Bayern will equalise very late and they'll finish top. That should be good though, like they're playing for top of both teams, so that, that should be a good game. Looking forward to that one actually. Man City v Hoffenheim and Shakhtar v Lyon. This has been an open group, like because of Lyon getting four points off City, this group is very open, because and all the draws as well, there's been a lot of draws in the group as well, it's been more open than I thought it would be. Um, what's the table, where, where, yeah, there it is, 10, 7, 5, 3. Well, Hoffenheim can't go through anyway, so that, that, that's them gone, but three teams can go, well, City are through anyway, but they can still finish second. It's going to be interesting, but I think City will beat Hoffenheim. 4-0? Um, 
I'm, I'm going for high score, but I don't think I should because Hoffenheim are pretty good. But they haven't won a game either, so that tells another story. I'll go for free one. I'll go for free one. Um, if it's free new, I'll be so annoyed because I'm thinking like City might keep a clean sheet, but I think Hoffenheim might uh, get a goal back. I don't know. Okay, I, I don't even know anymore. Shakhtar v Leon, obviously uh, same group. I just checked the table and I'm checking again. Five and three, right? Shakhtar will be Shakhtar's a tough place to go to, but to be fair, they've not been as good at home this season. I mean, Hoffenheim got a draw there, City won there. Shakhtar never used to lose so often. At, not not lose, but they never used to like fail to win so often in in Europe in the past. I don't think they used to be a lot more solid. But I still think they can uh, do something against Leon. Um, I'm gonna go for a risk. I'm gonna go for a risk. Actually, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, I'm gonna go for a risk. I'm gonna be wrong. I will be wrong, probably, but I will risk it, okay? It's just for fun. It's just for fun. There's no betting, there's no money. It's just fun predictions. So I'll risk it, okay? I'll, I'll just risk it. To be fair, I say it's for fun. I'm also in a prediction league as well with my friends, and I use the same predictions as well, so it could backfire on me in terms of that, but it's still for fun. Valencia v Man United uh, and Young Boys v Juventus. Uh, 12-10 I think Juventus will finish top I, don't, I just don't see them not beating Young Boys They, they will beat Young Boys That, that sounds so wrong they, Juventus will win their game I think uh, For sure uh, They're only one point as well um, But yeah United will go through I mean they are through anyway But yeah I, It doesn't really matter then does it? it It doesn't really matter Yeah nothing really matters Because I don't think Juventus will, will lose their game And <laughs> And and Valencia, I don't know, wait, yeah, yeah, I don't know why, I'm, I'm sorry, I figured something else. Valencia are in the Europa League, for sure, they won't go, they won't go through. United could finish top, but let's be honest, they won't. So, these games don't matter that much, uh, but yeah, I'll go for a 2-0 win here for Juventus and 0-0 here, yep. Nil nil, you heard it here first. So yeah, there it is. Uh, two Juventus, nil nil in this game. Two one Shakhtar, three one Man City. Two two between Ajax and Bayern Munich. Four one Benfica. Two nil Real Madrid. Two one Roma. Two nil Liverpool. Three nil PSG. Three one Barcelona. Two nil Inter Milan. Three one three one Atletico Madrid. Two nil Borussia Dortmund. Two one Galatasaray and two one Schalke. So yeah. Um, yeah, those are my predictions for this match day. So, I've, sorry I've not been speaking uh, too clearly in this video. I've been stuttering a bit, but hopefully I'm, <laughs> I'm actually... <laughs> hopefully I'm not stuttering too much, but I've been saying some words wrong. Apologies for that. Anyway, yeah, this was your boy Davilov. Please like, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Looking forward to these games. See ya.